Hello guys, so welcome to Kyo Tutorials. So here I am coming up with a new tutorial on car modeling. So let's get started. So we are going to do this car modeling in this Blender application. So very first of all, what I'll be doing over here is like let's take a reference. So you need to take car blueprints. That's the references for front view, side view, top view. Let's start with it. So let's go into the front view over here. Let's go into add image go into the references let's go into the desktop let's take a reference of a front view over here let's select this let's slightly push this up let's go to the top view over here your front view your top view let's go into add image reference let's take a reference over here Let's scale it. Image reference top can slightly push it over here. After that, let's go into the side view that's your left view over here. Let's go into add image reference. Let's take a side view and slightly just push it up. So once you're done with this, so now what I'll be doing over here is like, I'll be just pushing it over here in this way, in this axis over here, like this. And definitely we'll be selecting this. Let's go into the rotation and let's rotate it over here in this way and slightly will just push it over here so now you see that we have taken a reference over here for this front side and your top view so let's push this over here so now let's go to the top view so for modeling this car for car modeling you can either use box you can use box modeling also either you can use plane also we'll start with a plane so we'll be going through the basics so let's go to the top view over here so very first of all let's go into add mesh and let's take a plane over here so after taking a plane we can slightly scale this plane over here we can go into this let's go into the edit mode press ctrl r push it at the center over here let's go into this face delete it so once you're done with this so i can again use a edge over here and i'll slightly push it a bit over here let's go into the vertices push it over here select this and push it over here select this push this over here select this and push it over here so now let's go into the object mode over here and you can go into the modifier and let's give a mirror over here you can use a mirror option over here so how mirror works is like it's like it works like a symmetry so for example any changes you do on one side it's going to affect on the other side so that's a good thing about that so let's switch to the wireframe mode over here press ctrl r and let's put one loop over here in this way so now what i'll be doing over here is like i'll slightly push this a bit inside over here in this way and i'll select i'll again press ctrl r i'll put one loop over here again i'll press ctrl r i'll put one loop over here select this edge and now if you want to extrude it let's go on to the other view over here so as you can see over here for now what we have done is we are doing it over here but still you see that it's over here now i'll again go into the edit mode i'll go into the vertices i'll select it and i'll slightly push this down in this way so as you can see i'm going to manage it in this way so now again go into the edges 
over here I can select this edges over here let's go to the side view and the shortcut key is E that's for extrude so let's slightly you can extrude it down you can easily extrude it down so we can easily extrude this a bit down so once you're extruding it let's go to the front view that's also very very important you can just push it in this way also let's select it select the vertices select this and slightly just push it over here in this way so definitely we'll be adjusting it accordingly press ctrl r So press Ctrl R, slightly push it over here and again you can go into the edge over here. So I will be pressing E and I will slightly making some changes over here. So let's go into the vertices, I will be doing it in this way, again select this, press E, rotate it. Slightly I will be rotating this stuff over here, again E, rotate it, select this, again select this edge, E and finally you can just scale it from the top in this way. So you see that we are just doing some basic stuff over here. So let's again go back to the side view over here after you are done with this you can press ctrl r you can add a loop over here again you can go into this edges shift select this edges press e and scale this and slightly you can scale it from here and you can push it over here so once you are done with this now what i will be doing over here is like uh, i'll go into this i'll select this both go into the vertices and you have option called merge vertices at the center so you can easily merge this vertices also let's go to the front view over here so you can go to the front view over here select this whole thing let's slightly scale it and you can use this move over here in this way so we have just started up over here now again let's go to the side view over here you can also check out with this way and again i'll go into this edge over here i'll select this edges and again i'll slightly extrude this till here again i'll go out of it go into the vertices i'll select the vertices over here select the vertices right click you can easily merge it or you can uh, go into this yeah you can merge this vertices over here so press ctrl r and let's put one loop over here and very first of all let's save your file that's very important over here so i'll so car modeling underscore one or car modeling that's it so once you have saved it, now if you feel like you want to see how it looks like after your smoothness, just select it. Let's go into the modifier and we have a modifier called subdivision surfaces. You can add this modifier and you can see into this, you can increase this viewport. As you can see, you can easily smoothen it. If you don't want it, you can just make it as zero. And let's again go back to the edit mode. Let's keep on doing the things what we were you were doing before that. Let's continue that. Now after that, let's again go back to the top view over here. Into this top view over here. Again let's go into this edges over here. And now what I'll be doing is like, again I'll be slightly extruding this over here. In this way. I'll go into the vertices. And I'll slightly push it over here in this way. In this way and control R I'll just put one loop over here in this way so 
as you can see this is going to go back up let's go into this side view over here select this whole thing and let's slightly scale this up over here in this way so select the vertices so select the vertices so before that let's select this edges select this edges over here go into this view and again extrude it over here so let's go to the top view over here let's go to the top view let's go to the top view over here press e and slightly extrude it up so let's go into this side view over here select this edge and slightly push it up and slightly rotate it in this way so let's go into this front view so in the front view what i can do is i can slightly just push it over here all right so select the vertices let's go into the vertices select it and slightly just push it in this way much better so select this to right click merge vertices at the center so what i have done right now is i have just merged this vertices let's go to the top view so let's slightly push it over here in this way and again extrude it go on extruding this in this way that's it so let's again go back to the side view over here select this push it up select this push it up select this in this way select it in this way so as you can see i can slightly push this inside and make it in this way i can select this slightly push it up save your file please save your file over here in this way so whatever changes you are going to make it's going to work on all the sides so let's uh, go back to the top view over here select this push it over here let's select this edges for now and let's just extrude it till here and slightly scale it that's it so uh, this is just a basic what right now we are doing over here we are going to make some more changes also over here so press control r i'll be putting one loop over here again put one loop over here and let's go into the object mode and you can see how it looks like after its smoothness so guys if you have any doubts please write it in the comment section over here so definitely will be continuing this so please like and subscribe my youtube channel so we'll continue the rest of the part in the next tutorial so thanks for watching this tutorial